I want to take us here first, Sean, the outcome of the Florida uh, versus Texas A&M game. Ends up being 33-20, to 20, at-home loss for the Gators, Texas A&M, Marcel Reed. They run all over Billy. And look, I got to say, man, I don't think anyone is going to doubt this. Billy's done. I really wouldn't be shocked if on the Monday show we aren't talking about his firing. This couldn't have gone any worse and have, have unraveled any quicker than the way that it did three weeks into the season. You get embarrassed at home against Miami, which is not a... They're respectable. Per, they're, well, they're not a... No, they're extremely respectable. That is the team that's going to win the ACC. But I was going to say not a consistent rival, but an in-state rival, somebody you compete with in recruiting. And then Texas A&M doesn't even start Connor Weigman, and you're sitting there playing musical chairs at quarterback with your thumb up your ass and you get whooped on the ground, they run all over you. I have no idea how Billy Napier is going to keep his job. This was one of the games that he had to win in order to buy himself some time to put together a respectable re record. He's done by Monday. You, no have, you have home field advantage, advantage in the swamp. It's raining. It's raining for both teams. Uh, you, you have excuses that you're going to hear Billy maybe try to use, mm -hmm. but everything was Texas A&M in this game. It's actually gross that Texas A&M let Florida score 20 because that score is the final score is not indicative of how lopsided the game was time of possession. Texas A&M nearly doubles them 37, uh, 38 minutes to 22 minutes. Uh, Florida had four punts. Texas A&M had one, three picks for Florida, zero for Texas A&M. I know you've seen the rushing yards. You've been alluding to it. Texas A&M ran for 310 yards in this That's game, Joe. Insane. I didn't even know that number off the top of my head. That's Florida, insane. Florida, just give me a little guesstimate how many they ran for. Uh, 90. 52. Oh, my God. 52 in the rain. Are you kidding me? How? What? A, it, it's got to be. I'm, I'm already feeling bad for some of these teams. Uh, for the fans of teams that are real loyal to these good brands, uh, these blue chip programs that, that have history and tradition in it right strong passionate fan bases knowing that their next three months are meaningless florida season meaningless because i don't think they can even play spoiler at this point florida state meaningless and i think we'll get to them in a little bit i'm feeling bad for them now and maybe it's because i don't <laughs> have a, like a genuine top tier fandom in college football it's my fault grew up in northern virginia we had nothing around but i thought you were, you, I thought you were an adopted tennessee fan kind of Okay, you know what they yeah, me and Tennessee had some moments where I I can't be fully in I think mm -hmm. but I wish I was goodness that team looks strong but you have to feel bad for the Florida fans that were the 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 ones that were cynical enough and smart enough to understand Billy was not the answer this year congrats to you you still suck and the the delusional uh unfortunately you're now realizing how bad you suck also so it's a it's a bad week for Florida I think many people already understood how quickly this thing was going to topple and it's kind of been just counting the days, waiting for the opportunity of when he's undone himself. And here it is. I don't understand what else he could possibly do to buy himself any more time. The schedule only gets harder. And maybe that's the thought process of we don't want to throw we don't want to throw the the interim guy to the wolves completely. It's how the sport works. Start looking now. Look at great example, Nebraska. They fired Scott Frost the year that they fired him very early on in the season. They lost to Northwestern. They were just a bumbling mess. They had an unlimited amount of time being the first school to be searching to start looking for and figuring out what are our options. You're not going to start interviewing now, but you can now start looking and start digging deep and focusing your attention on it. You can get ahead of the curve. Right. And they went and got Matt Rule who many people right now would argue that was a fantastic hire and it's already paying tremendous dividends and will continue to pay dividends in the future. Obviously, Matt Rule was not available at the time because he hadn't been fired by the Panthers yet, but having that start allows you to dig deep and really search for who is the right man to lead the program. If, is that Lane Kiffin maybe? Is that Jed oh. Fish who lost today, which is very disappointing they for stink. Washington? They need to start looking. The, the only way that you can recover is do the due diligence, put the time in, put the effort in, and figure out who the next man is. Why in the, if I'm Lane Kiffin, I'm not touching coaching Florida with a 10-foot 10, 10 pole. 
Like I, I I'm I'm happy yeah. in Ole Miss. I'm happy with what I'm building there. I don't want to go near Florida and be the next man up to fail. It feels kind of like what the Auburn job has become. Harson came in and after a mess, that was a mess when he left. Now we have Freeze coming back in from the from the newer mess, and uh, it's still a mess. Thanks for, could you break away from New Mexico for the kid, please? Could you please do it? Ah, 31 to 13. Oh, let's keep on chugging. Come on, Team Freeze. Freeze them out. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Can I get an icy extra freeze, please? Oh, come on, Auburn. Right, do something. Finish your point. Finish your point. Uh, yeah, Florida needs a drastic culture change, coaching change, and and just play style change. Everything they're doing out there is lame and dry. It doesn't seem like they have any juice offensively. Defensively, they're a bit hapless. It it has to be a full restart from the head coaching position uh, to the to the position coaches apparently because this is just for what Florida expects to be uh, unacceptable.